In this video of JavaScript, we will begin with the variables. As in the programming and even in the scripting of JavaScript, variables are something which can store a single value at a time temporarily. Temporarily means the value can be changed later during the execution if required. As earlier, we have already discussed in the features of JavaScript, like it is not a type safe language. So whenever you will be defining any variable, it will not be having any specific data type. So we will use a var that is variant keyword whenever we will go for any variable declaration. And after that, we can assign any type of value. But since we want to be logical, we will not try to do so and will stick to a single data type of value. Now, whenever you will start working with the variables, they would be having two scopes, either local or global. But practically, we will do that as soon as we will start working with the functions. So if any variable is defined inside a function, that is a local variable. And if you define any variable out of the functions, it will be a global variable means it can be accessed inside any functions you are making. But initially, it is nothing like that because we are not going to implement any functions. So let's see practically how can we start working with the variables in JavaScript. So now in order to declare the variable here, we will use the var keyword. And after that, you will name the identifier. So like here, if I want to store some name, I will name the variable that is the name. And uh, then if you want, you can assign the value right here or you can do it later. So if I want to assign the value, I, what I'll do, I'll put a double quotes since here I want to store the string type of data. As we already discussed that JavaScript is not a type safe language. It is loosely typed language. So you don't have to specify a specific data type right here. Just by specifying the where keyword, you can define a variable. And after that, you can assign any type of value into it. Let's say here I assign a value, let's say Anadi. Similarly, if I want to assign some other things like age, which is a numeric value, I can do that as well. And similarly, you can assign any type of value like the same. For example, if you want to assign some decimal numbers also, you can do that in the very same way like this. And similarly, whenever you want to print the data, you will use the same method that is document.write which we have already used either document.write or document.writeln. So make sure that whenever you are printing the value of an identifier, you will not put them in the quotation and you will keep them like this. But if you want to put anything before that, you can simply put it in double quotes like name and then a concatenation symbol that is the plus. So let's save this one and see the output in the browser. So as here you can see name Anadi. Similarly, if I want to do some more things, I can do that in a very simple way. If I will run this, you will see all the things in the same line like this. But if you want to break the line, as we know, we use the BR in the HTML. So I will simply concatenate that right after each message like this. And again in age. And if I'll do anything after salary, so that will again come in the next line. So now this is the output we were looking for. So similarly like this, you can start creating the variables and can assign the values as per your requirement. 